Now I shall be telling you about the different steps about the bath of purification after a physical relationship between the husband and the wife. The first step is voiding and the purpose of voiding before the bath is to ensure that any secretions are discharged in the vagina passes out. After voiding, the next step is washing the private parts with a sufficient amount of water to clean the private parts. And then both the hands are washed till above the wrists. And then after this, the fourth step is to perform the wudu. Before starting the wudu, the person recites Bismillah. And just the words of Bismillah are recited in the heart and not even uttered or pronounced by the word of mouth. And even the whole verse of Bismillah rahman rahim is also not recited. And then wuzu, I would want to mention that when we take a handful of water in the mouth, while we are swishing, it is preferable and it is most the hip if we uh, do gargles. And similarly, while uh, uh, washing the nose and the nostrils, it would be most the hip. And it would be better if the water is taken up to the root of the nose and it is blown out and cleaned properly. And the wuzu is done in the routine manner. And as far as the feet, washing of the feet is concerned at the last part of the wuzu, it may be done after the wudu or it may be postponed to be done after the completion of the bath. Both the uh, methods are proven by the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam. After completion of wudu is the washing of the hair. The hair have to be washed very meticulously and with perfection to ensure that not even a single hair stays or the root of a single hair stays dry. And to ensure this, we go on pouring water and we go on rubbing with the hand to ensure that all the roots are uh, are wet and they are moist and they are washed and to uh, ensure perfection the uh, head can be divided into two or three parts even like first we wash the central part of the head attending it properly and then the right and then the left or it can be divided into just the right part washed first and then the left part washed afterwards. This dividing the head into two or three parts would make us attend to a specific part more particularly and more meticulously and the ensuring that there is no part of the skin equal to even a hair follicle which remains dry. After washing the hair, we'll be washing the whole of the body. The body itself can also be divided into the right and the left parts being attended to. First, we will wash the front part of the right half and then the back of the right half and then the front of the left half and the back of the left half. And the purpose of the whole uh, pur uh, this uh, steps will be to ensure that we are very uh, very carefully attending to each and every part of the body. And while uh, bathing and washing the body, what we need to do is that we go on pouring water and with the other hand, we go on rubbing, especially attending to the skin folds and the creases and the hidden parts of the body, like behind the knees and behind the axilla or the armpits, behind the neck folds and the creases. And uh, if somebody is wearing like a nose pin or hair um, anything in the air air uh, hangings or rings we try to move this and if there is something sticking to the nails or the skin they have to be scratched off and especially any nail polishes etc which were applied they have to be taken off before we do our wudu and before we start taking a bath and wudu both and then ensuring that not even a part of the body equal to a single hair skin says dry and continuously rubbing and pouring water over the whole of the body then if we have not washed our feet with the wudu 
the person may just step up from the place where we were uh, we were taking bath we step slightly away and then we wash the feet both these things are uh, applicable as per the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu now another thing which i would want to highlight is that this whole process the whole process starting from washing of the hands and doing wudu and then the bath it has to be as one continuous uninterrupted process there has to be nothing coming in between and it has to be in a single go as a continuous process we cannot like stop in between while we are washing our head that we can start doing uh, we can start shampooing our head and then wash the rest of the body or we start applying the body washes or we start applying the face washes no we we do the wudu and then we do the bath and after we have completed this all these steps in one continuity then only we can we get free from all this when we completed the bath of purification then after that you may use your shampoo and body wash and face washes or you may manicure or pedicure or whatever but during this one continuous process this has to be as a single process on the go and there has to be no interruption in between so this is in brief about the different steps of the bath of purification and uh, wudu definitely has to be preceded by ghusl